She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Going crazy, want to pull your hair out, want to grab somebody, yeah. Sometimes we have those days, right? You wake up first thing in the morning and it just seems like it's just everything is coming at you. First of all, you wake up with a headache, a pounding headache. Your joints are like stiff and they're kind of hurting you. You didn't sleep the night before and then bam, you know, somebody just like frustrates you, tips you off the wrong way and it just seems to be what the day is that day. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Today, we're going to be talking about obstacles that are in our way and solutions to overcome them so you can get on that path to success because obstacles are a part of your path. You need to understand that. Obstacles are a part of success. Man, it took me the longest time to realize that. We found this quote by Michael Jordan, who, by the way, was one of my absolute favorite basketball players. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My absolute. Okay, I had, I had like, you know... A few, okay? Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Isaiah Thomas, Bud Webb. He was only five foot seven, but he could slam dunk the basketball. Anyway, Michael Jordan, one of my all time favorites to watch. My goodness, he was so amazing, such an amazing performer. But listen to this quote because there's a lot of wisdom in here. And he says this If you're trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them, everybody has had them. But obstacles do not have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Michael Jordan, man, incredible, famous basketball player, legend, and entrepreneur. Still has a tennis shoe after him. Anyway, so isn't that just so true? Huh? You know, you have to think about it. So many times where we hit that wall and we just go, forget it. And we want to turn around and walk back and give up. You cannot do that, man. If today is not the day that you definitely should have been tuning in, I don't know what was, right? Because we are going to face those days. And like I said in the very beginning, like you wake up, you got that, your head is pounding. You didn't sleep well. You got all these details floating around in your head and you've got your three-year-old talking to you. And and then, you know, here comes the five-year-old and then here comes the teenager and you're like, ah, you know, and then your spouse is, you know, okay, we got this, we got this, and we got this going on. And you're looking at your day and you're totally overwhelmed. And sometimes you just want to like go back to bed and you want to pull the covers over your head and say, forget it. It's too hard. I can't do this. So listen, you've got to have a strategy. You do. You have to have a strategy for days like that. Not only days like that, but you got to have a strategy for when those days come where there is an obstacle that just, you know what I mean? It's almost like it's a head on collision or sometimes you get blindsided. You know, you're heading down the road and then bam, you get, you get hit in the side. What is your strategy for that? You have to have one because if you're on this path of life, And that's even if it's a mediocre life, you're going to have obstacles. You're going to get blindsided. If you're on a path for success, guess what? You're going to have obstacles. You're going to get blindsided. Sometimes you're going to have a head-on collision. All of us do. Every human does. Not a single human is getting out of this life without having those things rise up in our lives. So to me, you might as well have success. If you're going to get blindsided, if you're going to have a head-on collision, you know, with, with problems in life, then you have to have a strategy. And that's really what determines success. You've heard me say this before. I'm going to say it again. It's never the circumstances that determine success in life. It is never the circumstances that determine success in life. It is, however, how we deal with those circumstances. Yeah, you can't change the circumstances, but you can change how you approach those circumstances. Let's just say that you've got a kid and they're, and they're, they swallowed a giant stupid pill, right? And if your response to them swallowing the giant stupid pill, you know, they're doing drugs or they're sleeping around or, or they're, they're not working, you know, they're being lazy, they're going into debt, you know, they're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Let's say that you've got a son or a daughter that are, that are doing that. Okay, let's just say that. 
Or you could even have an employee that you have put so much work and effort and time into and love and adoration. And, you know, it's almost like raising a baby. You know what I mean? You put up with the midnight feedings. You you put up with the engorgement. You you put up with the whining. You you, you put up with the, the, the poopy diapers, right? You put up with all of that stuff with this brand new employee. I mean, with this employee and, and you work with them and you're patient with them. And then bam, they get offered another opportunity and they're like, see ya. You're like, ah, you know, <laughs> sometimes when that happens, I'm happy to see it happen. Actually, most of the time I'm happy. But Pretty much all the time, actually, now that I think about it. I don't ever want to stop somebody from doing what they want to do. Um, and I I believe in giving. I believe good leadership is serving and giving um, without any strings attached. So, But nonetheless, those things can hurt. They really can hurt, whether it's the son or the daughter or it's the employee or, or whatever, the boss or whatever, right? So when we encounter that situation, we have to have a strategy on what we communicate, how we deal with it, what we do with our emotions in that in that scenario. Because again, it's never the circumstances that determine success, but it's how we deal with them, how we approach the son or the daughter that are doing drugs and they're not working and they're going into debt and they're making stupid choices that you know they're they're gonna pay for it really, really bad. You know, so how you deal with that circumstance determines whether or not there'll be success or failure out of that circumstance, okay? So we're gonna be uh, asking you the question, do you have a strategy? If so, what is it? Or is your default just procrastination, fear, you know, being hurt, getting offended, forget it, you know, Charlie Brown, you know, is that your is that your plan? So I'd love to hear from you. Uh, we have Aaron on the phone from Pasadena, California. Aaron Hernandez, what's your strategy or do you need one? I actually, Financially, I need one, but life, um, my strategy is God. It's yeah. just pressing on and hanging on to His Word. Mm-hmm. And when you have those days when, like you say, you just want to pull your hair and you want to cry and you want to lock yourself in, for me, the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my spot, too. Still is to this day. <laughs> yeah, it's like they know that, no, they cannot bother me. <laughs> uh, they and still just, try, though. Praying to him and holding on to his promise that he knows yes, best, you know, yes, yes. juggling two kids, a nine-year-old with special needs, mm-hmm. and a two-year-old. She came as a blessing after seven years. We weren't mm-hmm. expecting her, mm-hmm. and um, I got accepted into um, uh, APU for my social work awesome. um, bachelor's program, and it's my first semester and it's just been crazy. I'm yeah. the one who deals with the budgets at home. I'm the one who deals with, you know, the food and the kids and everything else. Yep. I have an amazing husband that he's willing to do the work so yep. I can go to school, but still it's a lot, a lot to juggle. Yep. So yep. many classes, but, yep. um, you know, I have had a difficult semester yep. trying to catch up with all those projects and yeah. Yeah. And, let me, Aaron. Let me um, suggest something to you, um, yes. because you're going to fry yourself if you don't learn some time optimization strategies. Um, and I love your first strategy is God. Um, and at the same time, uh, you know, a lot of people will say that, but they don't listen to Him, and they don't listen to His guidance because they don't know how to listen to Him. And He actually gives really practical advice. God does. And he gives it through his word. Really practical, simple advice that changes your life. And I had to learn the hard way after a nervous breakdown and a heart attack at 24 and 25. I wasn't listening to him. He was my first priority in my life, but I was not listening to the obvious things that were shouting at me. I didn't get it that they were shouting at me. And so it resulted in a nervous breakdown and a heart attack. But 19 years ago, I... Uh, I was taught by a woman who was a counselor how to manage my time. And this was profound, how to keep my priorities in line. And I use this kind of as a compass, if you will. It's a compass for my life where I make decisions based on this list of priorities and based on my timeline. And in this, I have put into practice for 19 straight years. I've never worked more than 20 hours a week in 19 years. This year being my uh, sabbatical year, this is a year of rest for me where I've pulled my hours way back, way, 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 way back. I'm not even uh, averaging 10 hours a month right now. 
versus 20 hours a week right now. And that's all from the strategies of time secrets. So I want you to write this phone number down because you're going to burn yourself out and the wall will either cause you to quit school and quit this dream you have of social work and impacting people's lives. And you'll just say, it must not be meant to be because it's too hard. And it is simple as learning biblical strategies on how to manage your time and how to make decisions and set yourself up for success. So write down this phone number. You ready? Okay. Yes, I am. 866-760-8255. Yes. Now, I do the laundry in my house. I do all the cooking, all the errand running. I homeschool my kids. Plus I run companies. Plus I run a charity. Plus I travel a lot, vacation or on the mission field, okay? That, that's what I do. How do I learn how to do all of this? Time secrets, okay? 866 okay. I don't want to see you burn out. It is a Thank simple, you. I don't want to see, I, I've seen too many men and women do it. I've, I've seen, oh my gosh. And most of who I do business consulting and counseling with are people who have, who either they didn't listen like I didn't listen, you know, 22 years ago. And they end up burnt out or um, divorced or losing it all because they you just, you spin out of control. And I know you can feel that already. You know what I mean? Like, <gasps> how am I going to do this? So there is a way. Again, it's Time Secrets, 866-760-8255. Ask for Carlene. Uh, she's also a single mom. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Carlene, she'd be happy to serve you and get that in your hands immediately. So okay. Time Secrets. It is going to be the lifeblood for you all biblical, you're going to be blown away how simple your life is going to become and how you will get that degree still taking care of everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're, you're going to have people ask you like, how are you doing this? The same thing that people ask me, how do you do all that? Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you, Aaron, I'm writing four books right now also. Oh, you are? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. On top of everything I just shared with you. I'm writing four oh, wow. books right now. Yep. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> this system is powerful. Really, really powerful. It's going to blow your mind. Thanks so much for uh, being so honest and sharing because there's a lot of people that are in that same exact boat. You know, we, and, and here's what's so sad is we forfeit our dream and we forfeit or the goal or we forfeit the calling on our life because things get hard and they get hard because we, in order to get promoted, you got to learn a new skill. And so right now you're trying to get promoted in a new profession, but you're not learning the skill of how will I manage my time in that new profession. So this is the answer for, for the rest of your life, it's an answer. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Friend, you know me. You know how passionate I am about my faith and the land of Israel. I'm so excited to tell you about something directly from the Holy Land. A good friend in Israel has teamed up with a good friend here in the U.S. to bring an incredible product that harnesses the healing power of the Dead Sea. Have you heard about Mud Zero? Face it, we may not like to talk about it, but some of us need help with removing unwanted hair, especially in unwanted places. Mud Zero is a solution for all skin types for men and women. Rub the mask on your skin, let it sit for five minutes, wipe it off, and you have smooth skin without the irritation. Then follow it up with a Depi lotion daily to reduce hair growth by up to 50%. Best of all, you can feel good knowing that over 10% of the profits goes directly to King's Ransom to feed the orphan and the widow. Go right now to mudzero.com and take advantage of an introductory offer they've created just for us. Mudzero.com. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? 
This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. It's the Danny Johnson Show. Danny, everything is just so hard. You can't possibly understand what I'm going through. Friend, I, I understand. I do. Maybe I don't understand every tiny little detail that's going on inside your life, but I do understand the feeling of being completely overwhelmed and things being too hard and too many obstacles that are in front of you. And then, of course, we pile up these excuses and we feel victimized and we feel like nobody can understand us. The fact is I lived my life like that once and you don't have to continue to live your life like that. There really are solutions out there, and they're important solutions that you can pay attention to. When it comes to hardships, one of the things that I learned 27 years ago, um, and, and this was like a, a simple thing, I was in a business training seminar, and it just was something that was said by the multimillionaire on the stage. And what he said was, is that find somebody who has what you want and learn from them. Learn how they do what they do. And it has nothing to do with the profession itself. That has nothing to do with it. But look at this. So I've, I've taken that same exact philosophy, and I know that I've had a lot of hardships in my life, right? From, from the a tragic childhood, if you want to even call it a childhood, you know, that I had molested from the time I was three till I was 16, verbally abused, emotionally abused, mentally tormented, just ugh, so much violence, you know, physically, physically tormented by my stepfather, who I thought was my dad. Okay, so th there was that, okay? And then here I'm pregnant at 17 out of wedlock and judged by so many people and people trying to get me to do something I never wanted to do. Can it, then I meet a guy and marry him after knowing him for seven days when I'm 21, I end up homeless with $35,000 in debt, $2.03 in my name, and that millionaire that taught me a few things totally embezzled the business that I had built. I'm fat, I'm broke. I mean, everything was horrific. Horrific, right? So I, I understand hardship. And by the way, that was just the first 21 years of my life. <laughs> there are so many more, majorly more tragic than being homeless things that had happened in my life even after that. So we, we both can share our story of tragedy, but it's not going to get either one of us anywhere. But one of the things that I learned 27 years ago that was so powerful was that find someone who has what you want. Learn from successful people. I get that. So I've applied that to everywhere. So, okay, if, if you are one that, that goes through some major, major tragedies or obstacles or just, you know, fighting, right? Then learn from other people who have done the same thing and find out how they have solved it. Learn from the successful ones. How have they solved this same exact problem or a similar problem? And so I got to tell you the truth. I turn, when it comes to obstacles, I especially study dead people. You're like, what? Yeah, dead people. Like the most famous king who ever walked this earth, King David, whose kingdom is still alive to this day. The people Israel, as well as all of those that confess Jesus as the Messiah who are grafted in to the promise and the bloodline of Abraham, who David was a descendant of Abraham. Okay, he was the second king of Israel. Talk about hardships. Talk about monster problems, family problems, ah, financial problems. Ay, geez, war problems, business problems. I mean, you na nation problems. I mean, problems, adultery problems, major problems. And I've studied that guy over and over again. Same with Abraham, major problems, right? There's a drought. He, he leaves his father's house. He goes off, you know, he's following this voice that he heard that no one else has ever heard. And, you know, now he, he leaves with his servants and his wife and there's no food. People are dying, right? Yikes, you know? So I look at how they handled it. What, how did they process that? What did they do emotionally? So not only do I study living people, but I study dead people too. You know, I don't talk to the dead. I'm just saying I read about them in the best success book ever written and learn how do I strategize and how do I, how do I, how did they handle it? How can I handle it? Oh gosh, I've learned so much. Oh, I am so grateful for the best success book ever written. I really am. I am so absolutely 
grateful. In fact, I got to tell you this because um, out of from that book and from the things that I've studied in there, especially about obstacles, there's several chapters inside of Spirit Driven Success that talk about this. Busting. In fact, David, right? David is a, is a strong study that, that I studied and I wrote basically uh, the lessons in which I learned on how to bust through those seven foot thick walls that seem a hundred feet high. You can't possibly climb it. It seems like you're not going to be able to get underneath it because the foundation's too thick. But wow, wow, wow. Talk about serious obstacles. People like Joseph, right, in Egypt. That is, this book highlights these particular stories, Abraham, David, and Joseph, and the massive struggles they had and how they overcame. So I think it's really important to study successful people, and especially people whose names are still being talked about, still being talked about thousands of years later, still being talked about these people, that's a legacy, right? So Spirit Driven Success, I really encourage you. The audios actually are probably more in depth even than the book, but um, I really encourage you to study that because uh, those are the ones who have inspired me, those stories that are inside that book, Spirit Driven Success. So anyway, we're going to continue with more right after this. Danny will be back with more expert business, money, and relationship advice to help you live the uncommon life. This is The Danny Johnson Show. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead end place where this gentleman found himself, but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Friend, do not be surprised by the fiery ordeal that is coming at you to test you as though something strange was happening to you. That is a passage and a piece of wisdom that I heard about 15 years ago. That was 1 Peter 4.12. I laughed out loud. The first time I read that, I laughed out loud at myself. When I sat there and went, do not be surprised at the crazy ordeal that you are going through. As though something strange is happening to you. Because every single time something would happen, I would flip out feel like a victim and lash out, right? And blame everybody, taking no responsibility and thinking, oh my gosh, my life is plagued with problems all the time. Is there ever gonna be a time of peace? Is there ever gonna be a time where things are easier? Oh my gosh, I was a three-year-old. My maturity level emotionally was a three-year-old as though something was strange was happening to you. I laughed at myself so hard because I looked like an idiot every time something crashing down happened. You know, like, oh, High drama queen. Thank God I'm not there anymore. Oh my gosh, it was exhausting. Anyway, but what are the obstacles that you are facing and what is your approach to facing them, pushing through them, or do you procrastinate? George Burdos from Boston, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Hey, Danny, how are you? Good. Good. So what about you? Go ahead. What about you? What are the obstacles that you are facing or how? what is your approach to dealing with obstacles? Well... The obstacles, there are many. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say that I feel like changing my name to Joe. Mm. There's quite a few that uh, I have no control over. Um, I I don't have a problem getting up every day and, you know, meeting the challenges of the day and try to accomplish what I've set out to accomplish. Mm -hmm. I just can't put anything together. Uh, I'm a carpenter. I love real estate and construction. It's been a passion Mm. for a long, long time. Mm Mm-hmm. And, you know, I get 99% of the way there, and just nothing seems to click hmm. uh, as far as the business side goes. Yep, yep. And, and on the uh, the home front, 
just when I think we're about to turn a corner, uh, something else pops up. The latest thing is my wife's uh, going to have two operations and she's going to go blind. Oh, my gosh. So. Oh, my gosh, George. It's just, uh, it's very frustrating. Yeah. Um, I was saved when I was 16. Um, I actually moved in with an aunt and uncle who, uh, the uh, aunt had uh, family that was in the uh, church. They were missionaries in Papua New Guinea. Wow. And my parents were divorced, and I would live with one parent, and then I'd live with the other parent, and then I'd go back and forth, and I finally said, hey, this is enough. i got to go someplace else. Mm. That was before I was saved. Wow. So I, I, I know I belong to Jesus. Amen. But I'm just wondering, you know, why I can't overcome you know, get over that proverbial hump, so to speak. Yes, the one you can't see. <laughs> you can feel it, just, but you can't see well, it. it. Everything I do, it's like mm-hmm. I, 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 I found a sweet deal on a subdivision in the town I live in. Mm-hmm. Found an equity investor. He was all set to go. Mm-hmm. And then he didn't show up. Yep. So it's stuff beyond my control that Yep. Always seems to, uh, you know, the cards deal me a four flush all the time. Yeah. You know what? You you remind me of somebody. You remind me of one of our clients uh, who was in the same exact spot, except that he wasn't married. Um, He was single at the time. But uh, his name uh, is Steve Cox, and he actually is from your area, literally from from your area. And when he first uh, tapped into our website and when he first came out to First Steps to Success, which is a three-day training seminar for business, communication, and finance, um, and he didn't have the money. He was flat broke. He uh, did the same kind of work you do. He did carpentry and real estate, and he was flat broke. And when I say flat broke, I mean flat broke. Uh, He had over $100,000 in debt. His business totally was flopped really really bad but after he came through that very first three-day training seminar he learned some very powerful strategies that he went home and applied instantaneously his very first year he first of all he made no income the year before zero income right this is bad okay lived on his credit cards and again this is how he ended up a hundred thousand dollars in debt okay he applied these strategies and he kept coming back month after month because he made over $100,000 his first year. He went from zero income to $100,000 the first year. Now he's earning multiple six figures and he's completely debt free. He's paid off all of his debt. So he literally sounds just like you. Hearing you tell that story, I'm sorry, it's Michael Cotts, instantly made me go, oh my gosh, Th- meaning, it's as though I am talking to Michael Cox four years ago. That that literally is how similar your guys' stories are, where he was just, he was so beat up. And really, he was beat up because there were some skill sets that he was lacking that he didn't know that he needed. Oh, he was awesome as a carpenter. Oh, he was awesome with being able to hopefully get deals to come together. But guess what happened? He didn't possess the skill set or the strategies on how to effectively market that business to effectively pull those deals to fruition all the way through and develop a client base where people are chasing him down to do business with him. He now has an international clientele, if you can believe that or not. He now has an international clientele. He's even been flown to Europe to build in Europe. Does that make any sense? That's crazy. So here was a guy that couldn't find business that now has too much business. So I cannot stress to you enough. First of all, I want to give you a copy of First Steps to Wealth to kind of get you started. Okay. It's free. Call my office. I want to get it to you. 866-760-8255. He got a hold of this copy right when it was released into the marketplace. Okay. So right. I want you to start reading it tonight. Uh, You can get, or today, Okay, you can get the ebook form at our office if you call that number, 866-760-8255. You could ask for Stephen or Nate. They'd be happy to serve you um, and tell them that I just told you that I, I'm giving you a free copy of this. The ebook, they can email it to you immediately. If you want the physical copy, you pay the shipping. I'll pay for the $15 book. I think that's a square deal, right? So you pay the shipping and handling, and I'll, I'll send you a copy of this. But secondly, I want you to ask them about first steps to success. 
because you really need to attend that same exact three day seminar to learn the same exact skills that took Michael from the same position you're in right now to exploding that business, exploding his life into a level of success he had not even knew was possible for someone like him. He wrote himself off that this is just my life. And by the way, he actually didn't even know Jesus. He actually gave his life to Christ at that event now has an intense relationship with him and is helping the poor. He's even helped us build an orphanage down in Belize. I mean, this man's life has been completely transformed. So it's awesome that you got that first part. You know the Savior. It's a whole nother thing to know his principles for business, to know his principles for marketing yourself. Those are, they're in the Bible. Knowing his principles for finances and growing that and knowing his principles for endurance. You're going to learn all of those things at First Steps to Success. And you're going to, you're, everything in your head is just going to go, that makes so much sense. And by the way, it's all simple. Come on, I'm a former homeless woman. I do not come from, high, I don't come from Harvard. <laughs> I, don't, I don't come from Cambridge. I don't come from Yale. I didn't go to college. Everything that we are going to teach you and show you and train you up with is exactly what worked to take me from homeless to millions to solving these problems that I forever had happening in my life and not knowing how to deal with them. So God bless you, George. Call Stephen or Nate right now, please. 866-760-8255. You really need to get registered for first steps. You really, really do. Um, it's on the East Coast. Uh, go. You got to go. Um, don't delay. So God bless you. Thanks so much for sharing. And I will be praying for your wife. In fact, um, what is your wife's name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Wow. I can't imagine. After I came to Christ when, when I was 16, I took a trip to the Holy Wow. Wow. Yeah. I am going to present your wife, Elizabeth, to our prayer team. Every Tuesday night, we uh, gather and pray. Uh, yeah. A group of us, we pray for a lot of prayers for a lot of different people, but we're going to put her on that list. In fact, I want to pray for healing for her, right? Wouldn't it be awesome if God healed her eyes and she didn't even need the surgery? I've seen him do that before. I'm, I'm not at all uh, doubting that he can't do that. So he's, he's healed me of paralysis, healed me of a lot of things, of a heart, fatal heart condition that I had. He's faithful. And so we will pray for healing for Elizabeth, for her eyes especially. Okay, listen, uh, obstacles, you know what? They are designed to strengthen us, and it all depends on where we put our emotions, right? So when we go through something, especially like what George is talking about, this deal that fell through and his wife, you know, having surgery, right? When he thinks he's about to cross, you know, turn the corner, bam, some other disaster happens. Um, there is hope in the Savior, and there are strategies in the best success book ever written. Once you learn them, I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First Steps to Success. Register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. The way you look at things is about to change. It's the Danny Johnson Show. When tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, and earthquakes hit your life all at the same time, you better have a strategy on how to deal with that. That's the bottom line. You have to learn how to stay focused and not let your emotions come out of control. You see, I learned along the way because uh, I've had lots of disasters, just like you've had lots of disasters, that we have to learn to filter our emotion through wisdom, to respond 
in wisdom in the midst of those kinds of disasters and learn how to channel those emotions so they don't go out of control through the the wisdom, honestly, the wisdom of God. Like, how do I handle this? What is the wisest thing to do? And it's a very powerful question to ask yourself in the midst of when things are going crazy. Because ultimately, my friend, you have two choices. That That's a reality. You have two choices. And the two choices are this. Stay stuck and miserable, freak out, or overcome your circumstances. Find a solution. Don't bellyache about it. Don't continue to freak out about it. It's find a solution. And one of the things that I know for myself, this may not work for you, but I know it has worked for me for the last 27 years. And what it is, is that I come to a place of finding the solution often through the Bible, but often through other people. Meaning that I ask people who've gone through something like that before, and I choose to learn from people who have a really good, successful track record. And knowing that my circumstances do not ever determine whether or not I will succeed, but how I deal with those circumstances does. In fact, I hit a circumstance today, and I'm actually gonna go like this. I'm gonna pat myself on the back because I handled something that I normally would not have done well with. And, And so something, you know, hit me today um, and and it wasn't nice and it wasn't fun, but I, I did not do what my natural normal tendency would be to do. And that is to go, really? But instead I just was calm. I had self-control <laughs> and I made the choice to not engage in emotion that would have made the situation so much harder. And so that takes practice. And it just happens to be something I'm really focused on right now. Like it's covered all over my bathroom to not allow a fool shows their annoyance at once. Right. But a wise person uses self-control. So I'm, I'm challenging myself every day. I'm keeping that as a focus to not walk by what my sight sees, but by faith to respond in honor and in kindness and in gentleness and self-control. And it takes a lot of work to be able to do that, but it is absolutely possible. And by the way, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's right in the end. And that situation that blew up ended up coming around and getting corrected. But if I had done what I naturally want to do, I would have made it worse and it absolutely wouldn't be corrected. In fact, it would have damaged things worse. Don't you hate that? Because we can. We can damage things worse, okay? So we're talking about obstacles and barriers and, you know, things that blow up in our face and how do we overcome. So Rebecca Alexander from East Vale, California, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, Danny. How are you? Good. So what about you? Okay, well, I normally am amazing at overcoming obstacles, but I've just hit a place in my life that is a little, like, um, territory I'm not used to. I've been an entrepreneur, actually, since I was 21 and I'm 49. Mm. And ever since that crash hit, I had to reinvent myself. And when I went to reinvent myself for a while, it was a good decision, but ended up being a really bad one where I lost a lot of money. Yeah. So recently I've invented something that they've compared to, like, the zipper. It's amazing. I've got a company wanting it. My problem is I have no cash flow for, like, the next six months, and I'm a single mom. And... <laughs> Because I lost all that money in the previous business, I'm I'm just in a spot that I've never been, and I yeah. just don't. I normally am the person inspiring people to do something, and I can't even inspire myself right now. So I love like, it. I love it. You're the person. <laughs> I love it. Do you know where you know where you're sitting right now? You're there. about to get promoted. Yes, I. I <laughs> I'm serious. I the company this morning, and they're like, by September, you will have royalty checks out the rear end. But right now, I'm like. Okay, I'm in so much trouble right now. Mm-hmm. September seems like eternity, and I'm trying to keep. I'm very good at staying positive, but you're, it's a natural instinct to worry and be. You know, I try to give it all to God, and I'm like, oh God, but you have a sense of humor because I like have nothing. I'm going to something, and I'm right. I need something to move while I'm in this nothing zone. Yep. You know? Okay, so Rebecca, listen to me carefully. All right. Okay. Number one, I'm really excited for you because um, you have to surrender. And yes. not feed the temptation of worry and fear. Okay? Right. So you're feeding worry and fear, and it's going to grow, number one. And all it is is a temptation. Worry and fear is a temptation. That's all it is. Do I eat the donut? Do I eat the apple? Which one am I yes. going to pick today, right? <laughs> 
right. Seriously. Have you ever been able, with food, to deny yourself something that is stupid? <laughs> Not very often. <laughs> Girlfriend! Then there's a root issue here. There's a root issue we just found. <laughs> okay? So this is, it's temptation. Worry and fear and doubt is nothing but temptation. Okay? That's the first thing I'm going to say to you. So it's choose the apple instead of the donut. It's not that difficult. It is not that difficult at all. It is when you vacillate. An indecision is when eventually the sin overtakes you. When you keep okay. entertaining it versus I'm choosing the freaking apple today. Really simple. And I'm going to choose the apple again tomorrow. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Right, right. Okay. So that's one thing. So really God has you going through this situation right now. In my opinion, it might not, I'm not saying God is telling me this. I'm just saying right. in my opinion is to shore up some weaknesses, honey. Oh, ah, hey. because I, we, I keep telling people, they're like, what are you doing? I go, well, I know for a fact, like, I think I'm like soul search because there's a lot going on inside of me. So you're probably right. He is showing up some things that I'm like, why now? Because I've got so here's no, it, why not now? No, listen to me, Rebecca. Right. It has to be now because if your next promotion is bigger than the last one, hello? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You cannot reach that next promotion with who you are right now. True. Cannot. You just came out of losing your backside and your kid's backside in a bad business deal. Didn't right. you? Okay, so yes. if you do not correct the weaknesses that you have and if you don't grow personally and you don't learn new skills, and to be honest with you, you're having to be teachable right now. And that is the most beautiful thing. You said you're usually the one inspiring everybody. Hello, yeah. girlfriend. You got to unplug from being the inspirer and you've got to go be inspired, learn new skills, get humble, get teachable and apply new strategies that maybe worked in the past, but maybe learn new, completely foreign strategies. It's time yeah. to plug yourself into new seminars. It's time to plug into some new uh, new um, financial strategies, like going back and going, where did I screw up financially that caused me to have the rug slipped out from under me? Okay, not only that, but listen to me. Here's another place. Getting teachable is the best thing that ever happened to me. And even like this year, I'm attending a bunch of different conferences myself. Why? Because this is the year for me to learn to learn, not because I'm in a bad financial position. I'm making the choice to unplug from my normal daily activities and learning new things. But here's my final recommendation for you. Get a job, get a job or start buying and selling things to take care of you because you and I both know how this goes, girlfriend. They said September, it could be September, 2016. You know better. So you, you need to do something to get you income today. Do not be waiting, 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 and do not be going into tons of debt while you're living on your credit cards. You cannot do that. So you need to start something else, and you need to do it fast. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Be sure to tell a friend about The Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. So what's keeping you stuck? It's time to get it out of your way for good. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Some of the obstacles that we're facing, we bring them on ourselves. We really, really do. There's some choices that we make that cause us to fall into a pit. And sometimes it's out of complete ignorance and other times it's we're not listening to our gut. We're not, we're not listening to wise counsel from other people. And so we head ourselves straight into a destruction because we're unteachable and we're so busy leading ourselves and trying to lead everybody else and not stopping to, to tap in to wise counselors. People that can tell us the truth, people that 
have our best interests in mind. And I know for me, the biggest mistakes I've made was I, I made them myself because I was unteachable, because I wasn't tapping into other wise people to help teach me or guide me or give me advice or any of that. I was so busy trying to show everybody how successful I was that I led myself down a bad path, a nervous breakdown and a heart attack. So stupid, so stupid. Health problems brought on why? Because I overworked. So Brandy Jones from Utah, what is your biggest obstacle in front of you right now and how are you going to fix it? Well, I would say, first of all, I want to say that your story really touches me. Um, being mm -hmm. homeless to millionaire from being healed, that really, really touches my heart awesome. because it makes me believe again that, that things can be healed and yes. God can take care of us. Yes. Um, but my biggest thing is I'm, I'm, I'm a photographer. I love photography. My mm -hmm. first camera I ever held was when I was three years old, and I've been doing it ever since. That's so awesome. And I'm having a real problem with it because I have, um, in 2000. Six, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, and they took my thyroid out. Once they did that, everything went downhill. I gained over 100 pounds. They said oh. I'll never lose weight. Then I became diabetic. Oh. And now my autoimmune system is attacking my brain, and I'm losing my memory. Oh, my And gosh. I've got three beautiful children, and I can't do my photography anymore because something that comes so easily, like when I'm editing... I can't remember yeah. how to do it, and I've wow. done it every single day since the 80s, Wow! and wow. I'm really scared, and, I, and yep. I know that that's, I need to have faith, but I'm having a real hard time praying about it, I'm having yep. a real hard time reaching out, and everybody keeps saying, you know, my, my husband and my mom keep saying, you know, pray about it, you got to talk to the big man, that's what my husband says. And, <laughs> and, and you have a wise husband, so let me, let's stop you here, because we're about to run out of time on the show. Okay. First of all, Brandy, I am so sorry. Uh, I'm so happy that you called. I'm so happy people have heard this because there's always alternatives to what a doctor wants to do. Always. Right, and right. so where you're at right now, Brandy, is your health needs to be your focus. That needs to right. be your focus. And I don't know what type of measures you are taking of research. I don't know what kind of steps you're taking to bring healing to your body, but it needs to become a high, high priority if you are going to live and have a future. And it, it, the photography thing is nothing. This is a massive issue. And so I believe that the wise thing to do, again, this is what the Bible says, that the prudent sees trouble ahead and takes shelter for it, but the fool does nothing and pays the consequences for it. There is so much knowledge out there on health. You should be researching for hours a day, learning That's how to find a way That's to heal. Read and read. Yes, to heal. No, not just to read, but to act and do what it's telling you to do. This is Danny Johnson. Thanks so much for joining us today. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. This has been the Danny Johnson Show. Did you hear that last segment? Do you know someone else who needs to hear it? Go to dannyjohnson.com, find today's show, and share it online. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS.